so my name is Colm Dolan. I'm visiting from Sydney. Uh, it's my first time in Perth, so I'm excited and great to have all the energy here. Uh, I commend you all, guys. Um, so I run a publisher consultancy business called Public. So I started it. Um, hope you understand my Irish accent. Come here, so you can understand. Um, what was it, me accent? <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, I, I run a publisher consultancy business. Um, so I started out nearly three years ago, so I've turned business into a $2 million business. So I'm pretty happy with the way we've gone. We have eight people working for me in Sydney. So basically I want to quickly show, uh, give you my experiences in lead generation and how I got over 35 clients in Australia, New Zealand, UK, across the world and growing. Um, so basically, I just want to start off by giving you a bit of an analogy about uh, a story. Have it, has anyone ever heard of the Acres of Diamonds story? Yeah. You basically, maybe a lot of you guys have. So basically, the, the summary of that story is um, there was a, a farmer in Persia in the 1800s, and he was visited by a sherpa or something like that, and he had a really successful farm, very wealthy, content. This sherpa said to him, if you have a lot of diamonds, if you find diamonds, you, you could build a country, you could get a country for yourself, you could get all your children and could have thrones in these kind of countries. He couldn't sleep that night. The next morning he went off, sold his farm to another farmer. He went off, he ended up going to the Middle East, he ended up going to uh, Europe and ended up dying a poor peasant, basically searching for these diamonds. And the farmer that bought his, his farm originally, after, uh, during that story, he was out herding cattle one day, he saw something in the stream, something shiny, it was a diamond. Basically on the farm was a whole acre of diamond, okay? So basically what I'm trying to say to you guys, which really helped me, is Looking for leads can be closer than you, um, you think. Using your network. When I started off, my first ever client was my girlfriend's friend who had a, a website and I contacted My second client was a referral from him. Over 34%, 34 of my clients are either from personal contacts or from referees, referrals. So this is your biggest lead generation. I will talk to your mother, to your father, to your sister, to your brother, to your old work colleagues, hound LinkedIn, when you're at a party, when you're on a plane, talk to people. Be relentless. That's what, like, what I have been all about. If someone doesn't respond to my email, I send them another email, I cold call them. I actually don't let it go until I have about five or ten contacts. Even if someone contacts me from a sales perspective, I won't reply to any email unless they pester me. When they pester me, I say, you're worth taking a call. So that's what's kind of really worked for me. I think another thing that's really worked for me is being smarter, not working harder. Like, get that quick lead, get that lead that is going to, to make a difference to you. Like, look, get the easier leads. Get, attend someone who's running a breakfast lunch, like attending this, or find out where there is other kind of meetings in your industry. Go to that, network. Don't be doing the hard kind of yards and cold calling. Like referees, in, if you get a client on board, or a couple of clients, offer a referral program. If someone refers you to a client, buy them a bottle of whiskey. Say you give them six months discounted rate. Your clients are the best references you will ever get. And networking is just so important to anything that um, relates to business. So. That's really what my kind of thing. I think the, the biggest thing I want you to take away from today is be relentless and also low hanging fruit. Think of easy ways to get these. Because once you get business started, it just flows and it's just hard to not get business. So I hope that was useful.